Hello everyone, we're back to the e-bike project. This time we're gonna test the hydraulic sensor. We're gonna use it to understand the amount of pressure of the user on the pedal here. And by measuring that, we want to control the recuperation energy. So we can save battery also, the feeling of the bike will be much different. Stay with us. Hello guys. Okay, so long time no see. Today we have um, this interesting video about the pressure sensor. These parameters, like we bought uh, recently, and we are going to use this uh, sensor for controlling of the level of recuperation energy. So what we have here, the pressure sensor. I just dismounted one of the brakes as you know we have hydraulic brakes on our bike I already fixed the parts just to not lose them okay so I think to mount it on uh, this like piece of tube uh, I bought from the Amazon so the mechanical part is this tube fixed on the uh, wooden plate also we have on the other side of this tube special pressure mounting and to connect those two we developed a special transducer it has like on the one side screw to connect it to the pressure sensor and on the another side it has it like a special size to connect it to this tube then we will have the pressure inside this lane affect the sensor and uh, measure the output signal on white wire so this is the red one is plus this is g and d this is the signal the parameters are like that 0 to 40 bar 10 to 32 volt dc input and 0 to 5 volt output also it's mentioned that red is plus black white is out okay let's do this To seal this connection I will use the special string here that plumbers used for uh, sealing the tubes.
also we bought a special tool here for assembly of these uh, tubes and and uh, those like tips you need to those inserts you need to put inside you have a press here so you think to use it also This is the system that we have. The lever with the small piece of tube connected to the pressure sensor using this transmitting mounting here. Uh, we will put this on that uh, piece of tube just to have more comfortable way to test it. Yes, and now we have connected, I already connected the sensor to our power supply. So as you see, we put the 12 volt here um, as an input reference voltage DC with one amp of current, but for a sensor we don't need more. Uh, I already switched on the oscilloscope. Here we connected the sensor to power supply, red plus, black GND. We also have GND for oscilloscope. Let's connect it and see what we have. White is output, so we connect it to to oscilloscope input. Okay. And now I will push the lever and you will see the amount of pressure you see this is like um, one one square is one volt so you can see for example this is like up two volts This is how I mount. So you can see that I press the the lever, and uh, this is the feedback that we have from the sensor. This we will use for our controller as um, input reference uh, to control the the amount of recuperation, because in the uh, uh, hybrid bikes and electrical bikes. I only found that they have um, on-off kind of conditions, so the sensor is only saying if you're uh, braking or not. So the level of recuperation is controlled by like on or off. Here we have analogical input, so we can control the uh, 
Yes, like now it is 2 volts, so let's see the maximum pressure. You see? So 5 volt, the maximum pressure is 40 bar. We probably have um, higher pressure in our system, so this uh, lever can create more. But in our opinion, we don't need this amount of pressure because uh, after like a certain point, we have fully break, not, don't need any recuperation. I mean, with this will be just the maximum recuperation to help the brake system to stop the heavy e-bike. Well, that's it. So this system we will use in our e-bike. We will connect it using the this connector. Like here, for example, the pressure sensor and the general line to uh, the caliper from the lever. So, in our opinion, these pressure sensors should be mounted closer to caliper to reduce the hydraulic dynamics impact on time on the system.